Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Pandas library to easily import financial information from Yahoo Finance. So here have a list of tabs that I want to import the financial information, such as uh, statistics and uh, financials. So this one is going to be a little bit tricky. I don't think we can uh, use Pandas to import the information. And I'll show you why in a second. But for other information such as profile analysis and uh, options. So these are a list of options that are executed on um, uh, February 12, 2021. And I don't need to show you everything, but I'll show you uh, just a couple of them so you get the idea. All right, so here let me import the pandas library. Let me increase the font size. So I import pandas as PD. And here I'm going to create a couple of variables to store the URLs. So let's start with uh, options first. Actually, let me rename this as URL option. Options. And it's going to be uh, financials. All right, so let's start with these two uh, URLs. From Pandas library, there's a method called read HTML. So this method would take a URL or a HTML markup or an HTML markup. And it's going to attempt to locate the table tag inside the uh, markup. So for example, from uh, options uh, web page, if I highlight uh, this element, Inspect. And if we go to the pen of this element, we can identify that uh, that particular information is coming from this uh, table tag. And that's how Pandas is able to locate the table. So here I'm going to insert uh, your out options. And I'll save the output as options, tables. And I'll run this code block. Now if I print the data type of options, tables, noticing that this returns a list. And that's because on a web page, you can have multiple tables. So if I print uh, all the tables, so for table and option tables, Here, let me put a break right here. We'll just return the first table. So here's the uh, table output. Now if I print the data type of the table object, and it's going to return as a data frame object. That means if I want to retrieve both tables, I can basically reference the index that associates to a particular table. So this is going to return the first table and it's going to return the second table. And if I want to combine uh, these two data sets together, then I can use the uh, concat method. So from PD, there's a concat method. And I can basically combine these two data sets together uh, using this method. Now let's look at uh, the financial statements. So before I mention that, uh, it's going to be very difficult to extract the table information, and that's because these uh, information are not stored in a table. So if I inspect element, and if I try to locate the parent, and here's the uh, parent element, and it's a div tag. So that's why uh, it's almost impossible to use pandas library to extract a table like those. If I try to do it, here, let me grab this line right here. I'll name this as uh, financial table. And this will be your financials. 
if I run uh, line 13, then I'm going to get an import error. Actually, uh, that's not the error I was expecting. Here, let me change my environment to uh, data analysis. All right, so let me run the uh, code block again. I'll run line 13. And this time I'm going to get a value error. No tables are found. So what we run is we need to use a, a library or framework that is designed for web scraping. And which I have a tutorial, which I'll be releasing the video pretty soon, hopefully. But for other information, such as uh, if you want to extract the key executive information, I can do that pretty easily since uh, this uh, table. So here we have a table tag that basically uh, contains all this information. Now let's do one more. Let's do something more interesting. Let's do statistics. This time I'm going to insert the URL directly. And let's name this as statistics. And I'll create the statistics object. Now let's take a look at how many tables we're able to locate. And there are 10 tables. So I'm going to uh, insert loop for table in statistics. And I'll basically print each table one by one. Yeah, so let's do a hundred dashes, right? And these are all the tables that the pandas library was able to locate. So if we look at each individual table, basically we just have the uh, the title and the value. And if we go back to the statistics table. So these are not going to be a table. Yeah, so these are DV tag. And information like this, we need to use other Python libraries, such as Selenium or uh, Scrapy. But for this, such as financial highlights, stock price history, profitability, and a couple other information. So information like this, we can easily extract. But yeah, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found the videos for. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.